one down. They don't know what God expects of them. And when the real prophets come out to teach you, you got backlash. And he don't even know what he's coming up against. Read. The book of Job, chapter 32, and verse 9. Read. Great men are not always wise. Great right. men or old men are not always wise. You're not going to always go to that elder, especially today in our community, to get understanding, to get wisdom. Great men or aged men are not always wise. Neither do the age understand judgment. You don't understand judgment. We're teaching you to come back to the laws of God before judgment breaks forth and there is no repenting. Bring it out. Give me Titus 3 and 11. Bring it out. We're teaching our people how to repent. Right. What repentance is. Right. What sin is. And that you're in the midst of sin. It's time to repent. Give me that. Give the me book that. of Titus chapter 2 verse 11. Read, my brother, listen to that. the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. You hear that? My brother, my brother, grace has appeared unto you. Oh, you good. You good. You good. Grace has appeared unto you. I'm going to show you what grace does. Read. The grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Doing what? Teaching us. Grace teaches. I want you to understand that grace teaches. Has anyone ever told you what grace was? You ever heard about grace? What is grace in the words of the, the men that taught you? What is grace? How, how have you been taught what grace is? I can't hear you. Please pull the mask down. Grace is prayers? I'm going to show you. It's not just that. I want to show you what the Bible says. Read. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. So grace is a teacher. It teaches us to deny ungodliness. You know what ungodliness is? Everything that is opposite of this Bible. You know that you calling yourself black or African American? That's ungodly. Bring it on. That is ungodly. You're not black. You're not African American. Africa is the name of a white man. Leo Scipius Africanus. He conquered Africa during the Punic Wars. America, or American, is the name of another white man. This name of this land was attributed to him. He was an entire, he was a, a navigator. He was a, he was a white navigator. You understand that? So these are two white men, Africa and America. Do you descend from two men? No, you descend from a man and a woman. You understand that? So when you trace back your name, your name should point back to your father. You understand that? None of your fathers were white. You understand anything about science? White men cannot create, give me Genesis 25. White men cannot create melanin babies. Because that's a, that's a trait that they're lacking. They're lacking melanin, they're lacking color. They cannot create color. But we can create a color recessive gene. We can create that. Black men can create white people. So the the book, book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 25. Listen up. And the first came out red, all over, like a hairy garment. So these are twins, right? At the time of the birth, they're describing the way these twins look. Read. And they called his name Esau. So Esau came out red and hairy. Remember that. Read. And after that came his brother out. His brother come out later. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. So this brother came and he took hold of his heel. How did he look? Read. Heel. And his name was called Jacob. And that Isaac was three score years old. Verse 26. How did he look? Why did they describe how the red hairy man look as opposed to his brother Jacob? So they just said Jacob did this and this was his name. I'm going to show you that every man in the book, give me Genesis, man was made from dust in the ground. Every man before, this is what I'm reading in Genesis 25, they were black men. This is our book, the book of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We're trying to show you what's godly. To think that Christ was a white man, that's ungodly. We're trying to teach you to deny the ungodly. That's right. This is the grace that is before you, brother. We're going to teach you what God really wants from you. So you don't be walking around just thinking, all I got to do is believe. All I got to do is have faith. But I want you to know that those words are action words. Those are not just words that you feel in your heart and you think on in your mind. You got to do something. To say you have faith, you got to do something. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Read. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of 
the ground. You hear that? The dust of the ground. Look at that. Look at the, look at the ground. It's covered in concrete right there by the tree. What color is that? The dust of the ground is what color? It's black, right? So you dig deeper, it's going to get darker and darker, right? So the Lord said, man was formed from the dust of the ground. Read. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Read. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So what I want you to know is every man up until Esau came out was what? Was dark. Jacob was dark. They had to make some type of description on how Esau looked because this was different. Think about it. Have you ever heard the term redneck? How old are you? You about 15? You ever heard the term redneck? What does what redneck refer to? Why? That's what the term that they call them because when it's hot or when they're hot, you see them red. They are red. They are not white. Why are they red? They're red because the blood shows forth through their skin. They have no skin color, but you can see the blood through their skin. Go back to, uh, what, what was we at? The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 26. Grace, I want grace. Titus 2 and 11. Yeah. So, it also said in Genesis, it said that he was red and hairy all over. I don't know if you know anything about white people. You take their razor from them, they get very hairy. Very hairy. So this brother was born red and hairy. Think about it. The white, what color is white? What, what color is this? The so-called white people that color? What's this black? Are we black? We, we not black. We ain't black. That's brown, brother. This black, that's brown. You see that? They, they've lied to us about simple things like color. That's ungodly. This grace that we got for you, Titus 2 and 11. The book of Titus. It's to teach you to deny ungodliness. To deny the lie that they told you that you're African American or that you're black. To deny that the so-called white man is white when he's actually red. He's red, brother. He's red. We love you, brother. We, we want you to repent. That's it. We, re we, we want you to repent, my brother. The Read. book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11. Read. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation. The has grace of God brings salvation. It brings salvation to the nation of Israel. Who more than the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that need salvation? Who more than us? We need salvation. We're always last hired at first fire. We're always looked over for promotion. We're always given the poorest living conditions. We're always given scraps to eat. Our nutrition is terrible. The mortality rate for pregnant mothers is terrible. Our women die more giving birth than any other race of people. Why? Because there's a plot to destroy the nation of Israel. We need salvation. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.